well, well, Texans. Greetings, Texans, and those of you who are okay, even if you come from someplace else. You know, to win the Texas Hall of Fame film thing, you have to be a Texan. And then maybe you just have to make a movie about Texas, because you're from Iowa. And then maybe you're just divorced from somebody who was from Texas, so you're still eligible. I think if you want this award, and you're not really a Texan, you can still get it. Now, I know that you people think that Charlie Sheen is the winningest actor, just because he had the word winning tattooed on his wrist the other day. I'm here to introduce you to a real winner. Renee Zellweger ain't no ordinary movie star. She's a real Texan. And I guess you don't know that she began her career winning in Katy, Texas, in school when she was voted the best looking. And then at the University of Texas, she was on the dean's list several times. Now that's winning. And she won her Screen Actors Guild card by doing a Texas-made Coors beer commercial. We all have to start somewhere. What other actress can say that she outlived the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? She was the only person who didn't get chopped up. She did this in 1994, and she helped make Texas and Chainsaws immortal. And then she won the Independent Spirit Award for the best debut performance in a movie called Love and a 45. She was nominated for this award more than once. And those were just the minor things she won. Let's add three Golden Globes, the Screen Actors Guild Award, and several Oscar nominations, and an actual Academy Award for a movie called Cold Mountain. That, in my opinion, that was merely the Oscar she should already have received for Chicago, Bridget Jones, or Jerry Maguire. And we mustn't forget how she won the Harvard Hasty Pudding Woman of the Year Parade Queen Place in 2009. She didn't need a chain shawl for those guys from Harvard. They were pushovers. By my figures, she has made 39 movies, one for almost every year. She has lived in her winning mode. She lives in Hollywood or Connecticut or New York City, or Florida, or anywhere she goddamn wants to. <laughs> She's a girl who can escape the chainsaw massacre. She can escape a tabloid story about her several fascinating love affairs. And I want you all to remember how she cut that rooster's head off in Cold Mountain. The tabloids keep telling us that movie stars are just like us. But this one isn't. She's a total all-time winner, one of the most intelligent celebrities I've ever met, one of the nicest, one of the most down-home, downright, upright, sensational dames in the lexicon. She is always winning. But tonight, she doesn't have to win. She has us at hello. So, we're going to see some film showing the power of Renee Zellweger. And after that, ta-da, she'll be here in person, okay? <laughs> <laughs>